Hi everyone, it's Megan Aubrey from Paper Crafts with Meg. And how are you? Oh my goodness, it's been so long. I've been so busy. I've done a couple craft shows, so I did a lot of stuff getting ready for those. And uh, even though it's, you know, we've got COVID around, we were still able to get the shows done. Uh, the first show wasn't too busy. It was really windy and it was cold and um, I did a show yesterday, which was fabulous. And I think people are just ready to get out of the house. Um, it was so good to see people out and about. So, um, I actually was talking with a friend who's a fellow demonstrator about this bundle. And this is the curvy dies with the quite curvy stamp set and curvy Christmas. Now these are going to become available to the general public on November 4th and demonstrators were able to order them starting in October. So we've got the quite curvy stamps and these are going to be in the new occasions catalog that's going to be starting in January. And then the dies coordinate with both the quite curvy stamp set and the curvy Christmas. And the curvy Christmas is only available until um, the end of the holiday catalog. And it's something different because we haven't had anything like this. So I think it's pretty cool. And I love the pine bows, boughs, pine boughs, sorry. And uh, you got a little snowflake. So this is really adorable. But the dies have been giving people some fits. So I actually did, I did a run using just regular copy paper because I didn't know how uh, difficult they were gonna be and I didn't wanna waste my good Stampin' Up! paper. So it was just regular, you know, copy paper. I got it at Staples. And so let me just go through the dies. So this die here, is this one. So when you place it like this and then run it through your die cutting machine, you get a nice clean even cut on one end and then the intricate little um, swirls, I guess. I'm not sure what you would call them on the other. And then this one is just some stitching. And if you you can just figure out which way I cut this here, this way. So when you do this, you actually get one line that is dotted like this, and then you get another one that is completely smooth. So if you wanted to make some hills on a card, you could use this on one side, and then on the other, you know, when it after it gets die cut, just hide this or cut it, and you'd have a perfect hill. And you can make you can make strips if you wanted to, which is what I did here. I took I cut it out one time. Let's see. Do do do. This way, like that. And then I did it again. Oops, I just lost all my leaves. Going the same direction. So I have a nice even line here and then this here. And then you'll see what I did with, I made a, the mountain, like a little ski hill. And this one is Ivy. And I'm actually going to show you what it looks like. It will cut out the leaves. That's what, so it's got the leaves here. So then it also leaves holes in the paper for, you know, the negative space. So if you ran this through your die cut machine in say like the Mossy Meadow or maybe even the Just Jade, and then you'd have you'd have the leaves and then you could fill that in with the the whisper white. I'll show you guys how to do all that. 
This one here is just a sprig. And these other ones cut out some of the stamps. I love my new stamp and emboss machine from Stampin' Up. Absolutely love it. So this is about six inches. So I took an eight and a half by 11 piece and I uh, just cut it down. Okay. So there's the mountain or the hills. And then there's that. And then let's do this. So you can see the embossed part of the leaves as well as the cutouts. And now I'm gonna take a piece of just jade and I am just gonna cut this out just for the leaves. that in a minute. We're going to do this one. Let's do this one here. Nice clean. And then the, everything here is that I cut out. So if you wanted, you could take the green ivy leaves. And I would definitely use your take your pick tool for this. So then you just want to put that in. The holes. This would be like putting together a puzzle. What's that saying? Things worth having come e don't come easy. This is a small one. And when you don't have good eyes, it's always better. That one's too big. Come on. There we go. Is a nice big one. Nope. Nope.
Mm -hmm. So as you guys know, sometimes when I get thinking, I forget to talk. So that's exactly what I just did. So there's probably... Like there's pieces missing. Here's one. Let's see. Here's another one. How many do I need? One, two, three, four. But you guys get the idea. I think this would be really pretty. One. So I'm missing three. Now you know that's going to bug me. But that is what it is. Let's cut out the ivy. So do that one. It's hard for me to see where I am. I think if you wanted to put some washi tape down, you could certainly do that. got that little strip and then just use that one and then put the ivy leaves in there. So let's do some stamping and some die cutting. Let's do first. I love using the Stamparatus for this because you can get a lot of stamping done at once. Just used a Mossy Meadow ink spot, probably from an old paper pumpkin kit. And the good thing about the ink spot is that it's small, so you're not using the full size ink pad. And if you don't have an ink spot, you can always make one with our um, ink spots in the catalog. You can put any color in there that you want. Boy, I'm finding these everywhere. Okay, I'm going to use a stamp case. Whoops. Stamp case. And let's do If you guys don't know, my poor husband, if you guys don't know, he is a Cowboys fan. And he is just, they are just not having a good year. There was so many, they're just one of these teams that everybody always thinks they're going to do well. And then they, at least for the past few years that we've been together, they just don't do well at all. And he hates the off season. It's so long. And he honestly, he looks forward to football season every single year. And every year, the Dallas Cowboys let him down. And of course, poor Dak. 
Now, our cat is named Dak, so I'm not talking about our cat. I am talking about Dak, Pres Dak Prescott. I think he's one of the good guys in the NFL. He's always doing a bunch of charity work. So, God bless him. All right, so if you don't know... When you have the Stamparatus, you don't want to store your plates like that because they can break. So you do want to store them flat. All right. Now, do I have any washi tape in front of me? Do, do, do. I do have somewhere. It's post-it note, removable tape. So that's what I use if I don't have washi tape around. So excuse my head. You guys know my eyes are horrible. Let's tape that down. So you kind of want to see the outline of whatever it is you're die cutting through the die. So anyway, today the, the Cowboys played the, um, I know they're not the Redskins anymore, but they got, I think they got embarrassed. So I'm sure my husband is looking for food. And I know there's a lot of washi tape here. You can do all the die cutting at once. So it will save you. There we go. One of the reasons I did the washi tape is because I have two plates. So these are the original plates that came with the machine. I've always used this one as the bottom and it's getting to the point now where things are getting stuck in it. And anytime I die cut stuff, the um, I'm getting paper, shreds of paper that stay in there and my hands are filthy from it. Um, so I don't wanna use this one on the bottom, but if I use it for the on the top, I can't see through it. So uh, you can see some of the work I did today on this one. But these are both relatively good shape considering I did a good size bingo with these plates. I've done, I did craft fear prep with these plates and they're not warped at all. And I never could say that about my other die cut machine. Um, this is the magnetic plate and this is a little bit warped. Um, it's, I've used this for many projects. You can see I've got a lot of leaves on here. So I store this flat at night underneath all of my plates like this and then I store my machine on top of it to keep it flat um, it does say to store it flat um, this magnetic plate is not meant to be used forever they say it should last about a thousand times so 
I'm trying to get there. We'll see. Um, I know that they're uh, looking into it. So I love the machine. I think the magnetic plate is high maintenance. And I would say if you're gonna get the machine, don't get the plate yet. And that's just my honest opinion. I'm using it because mine's not in that bad of a shape. The other thing that I do is I alternate it so I'm not going in the same direction and the same side all the time. All right, so let me take these down. Let me just put this on the bottom and get rid of the machine. So that's pretty good. One bird. And I will save, you can save these strips because they're reusable. So you can save them until they don't stick anymore. Two birds. Three birds. That little piece. So that was a pretty, that's a pretty good die cut job with that machine because that's a really small die. And then there's that. This would be really pretty done with the blends. If you did this in the, in the Memento to tux, um, Tuxedo Black and then did the blends in that, that would look really pretty. All right, so those are the curvy dies and the quite curvy stamp set. And it's got some really cute sentiments in it. Um, and you, they are also curved. So you can make them go along with the curves in the dies. How about that? Let's put the stamps away. So we have a special this month with our designer series paper and I want to talk to you about it. Let's put these on here. All right. make quite the mess here. Not a shock, again, to you, those who know me. Just my creative mind at work, right? So um, we have a designer series paper special this month. And some of the designer series paper in both the annual and the holiday catalog are 15% off. So let me just show you guys the flyer. So some of the paper I don't have, and I know that may come as a shock to some of you. Um, so the first one is the Artistry Blooms. That's on page 148 of the annual catalog. Um, let's show you the bundle. So this is the Artistry Blooms, and that is $9.78 off of $11.50. The other one, some of the holiday ones are on sale. So this one from the holiday catalog or the mini catalog, this is the Tis the Season designer series paper. And then we have one of my favorites from the annual catalog is the Forever Greenery. So this has the ferns. You guys, I did a, I did a video 
a while back with some cards from this. And it's got the it's got the, um, pretty peacock and the greens in it. It's such I think it's really pretty. Look at that! Is my favorite paper paper, my favorite piece of paper. I think it's on the, the side of this one. Yep. And again, one of my biggest irritants is when you like two sides of the same piece of paper. They do it all the time. Let's see. And then we have oh the poinsettia. Now, I think, did I do a video on this? I hope I did. This is the point, poinsettia place, poinsettia, with the pine cones. This one's 15% off, so here's the opposite side. So even if you don't like poinsettias, you've got a lot of different options in this paper. And if you don't like poinsettia, you're probably in a better position than me because if you like both sides of the paper, and which one do you use? Like this one is beautiful. And pine cones. And this one's got some berries and just poinsettia. So this one is uh, 978. Then we've got the Trimming the Town. And this is really, it's just one of those papers that I was like, eh, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. And then I got it and I love it. I love the blue, of course, but this piece right here, you could cut these out. And I love the sayings. You got the wreaths. This is a great piece with people on it. Snowflakes. The little houses that die cut with the dies. Um, so this is just a great set of paper. That's also 978. then we have the plaid tidings. Now I have used a lot of this already. So these are mostly the uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving colors that are left. But there's some great colors in here if you like Halloween. There's blacks and oranges and um, like here's two. Um, here's another one. I love this. I love the blue. Um, so another great set of paper. And let's see, back side of this. Well, this is probably three three packages, but huh, I haven't used that paper in a long time. The whale of a time, and I love it. As you can see, I'm kind of hoarding it. So this is on sale for $9.78. That's this one. And if you like punches, the punch is great for this because it punches out the, the dies. Now, do you guys remember toil, toil tidings from last year? That's back on page 34 of the mini catalog. And then Peony Garden, which I don't have, and I have to confess, I actually ordered it tonight because I needed some, one of the people at my um, craft fair wanted sympathy cards and I don't have sympathy cards. I, so I decided I was gonna get the Peony Garden Suite. And so I got the paper to go with that. And then the Heartwarming Hugs is in the mini catalog. That's this one, really pretty. Magic in the Night, was, which is the Halloween one. I have a couple pieces left of it. So I'll show you what I have. Um, I have the two pieces of Pretty Peacock because I didn't want to do anything with them because I love the color. Okay. 
Here's some of these. You've got spiders, there's bats, and uh, there's a bigger piece of that. But yeah, I wish I I wish I had gotten the Halloween suite. But when I first looked at the catalog, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna do anything for Halloween. And then I started doing the craft fairs and, and I was like kicking myself I didn't have it. Um, and the Snowflake Splendor. Yes, we are doing a class with this in November. Love this paper. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. We're also doing a class with the, um, to the season. So I'm prepping two classes with these. Um, let's see, the In Good Taste is also on sale. And I had it, I can't find it. So I don't think I used it all, but who knows, honestly. So this one's got the, um, I know I did the unboxing video way back when just a bunch of different textures and like, um, it's really cool. If you look at the whole sheet, you might be like, oh, I don't really like it. But if you look at them individually and like use them for cards or scrapbooking, it's a great, great set. And then we have the playing with patterns, which is this one. And then the playful pets, which I don't have. And the Playful Pets, I've been thinking about it because at first I was like, well, I don't have any dogs. But then I was looking at it and I was like, Megan, there's cats in it too. Where is it? It is on page 40 to 42. So it's got the dogs, um, the Schnauzer. I guess that's supposed to be a German Shepherd. I don't know. It's got the ears, but it's got a really long nose. And then it's got the cat. So it's like the dog from Lady and the Tramp. So anyway, that goes until the end of the month. That catalog, the, um, hello, the paper sale goes until the end of the month. And there is a hostess code. And the hostess code is 4AESV7E9. I'll put the link down below underneath um, the video and I'll put a link down below with all the paper that's on sale and I'll start I'll start creating with these um, so just so you guys know what is coming up so we have um, demonstrators have on stage in two weeks and oh wait the other thing that goes with this, Megan, 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 Megan. So the other thing that goes with this is paper. So let me show you the paper. Um, which one did I open? I don't know. A couple, I have two more things. So we've got the paper here. really pretty. So I will create something with this. Okay. That's on my to-do list. Then we have on stage. So on stage is Stampin' Ups. Um, they usually have it twice a year and no, they used to have it twice a year. They changed it. And so now it's once a year and it's for demonstrators only. And it's the one of the best parts about being a demonstrator because you get to meet and you know see all your demonstrator friends from all over the country and we got a um we always make something at on stage so we have this really cool stamp and punch we have this really cool suite we have this really cool suite very excited about and it has dragonflies in it and it's got really pretty paper. So I'm gonna be creating something with that. And 
told you it was crazy busy. I have a virtual craft vendor fair in two weeks on Facebook. And once the person in charge of it sets up the link, I will po post it on my Facebook page so you guys can check it out there. It's actually a fundraiser for a school here in Connecticut. And I don't know, I don't have the information yet, but I will post it on my Facebook, Facebook page once I get it. And there's gonna be a lot of vendors. So I hope you guys can check that out. I hope you guys learned about the curvy dies. And if you have any questions, just send me a message. Um, all right. I hope you guys have a great week. And uh, stay well, stay healthy out there. And uh, be good. Don't forget to vote. Have a good night, everyone.